So welcome back to another video here in Pennsylvania once again. And more specifically, we're back in my my room or back in the office right here. Here's where I sit and do all my editing and research and stuff. Got a little more light in here today. Yeah, don't look too closely at my shelves and stuff. Everything's kind of a mess. I think I did mention earlier, I've got some paint and painting done in here. Got some of my pictures back up again. I know one person complained that my room looked a little bland. Well, that's because I had everything down because I was getting ready to paint and stuff. But anyway, it is cold out there. Blustery. You might be able to hear the wind a little bit in this video at times. But it's like 20 mile an hour winds. It's about 16 degrees outside. I'm just looking at my computer. 16 degrees outside. So I'll put that in Celsius down below. But it is, it's cold. We got some coffee though. Just don't have my fireplace blazing in this video like I did for Christmas. Anyway, got some mail to cover. Got some cool stuff today. Got some stuff from all the way from Alaska. So we'll get on that. So this first box is from Alaska, and this is from Cole. Uh, he sent me, I think some time ago, he sent me a postcard from Alaska. So this is from him all the way from Alaska. And he, apparently he's Native American. Um, He's a native of Alaska. It says his people originally comes from Canada. I'm going to put the name of his people down here below. I'm not going to try and pronounce it. I'll probably butcher it up horribly. I don't want to disrespect the name of his people by pronouncing it wrong, but, but thank you. And along with that, though, he sent me a, like sent me some other stuff, but here's a book on the native people of Alaska. So that's pretty cool. And along with that, we got some yummies. I got some coffee from Alaska. Some Denali Mountain Dark Roast Coffee. And here we got Tundra Mud. There you go. So, we'll be making use of that. This is just plain old Folgers. Folgers, I think it's hazelnut flavored though. So hopefully the Alaska stuff will taste better. And along with that, some more stuff in here. Some birch syrup. Black birch. Here's birch and salmon berry. Here's it's just regular birch. <laughs> and I think this is with oh yeah. Birch with blueberry. So those those look good. I might save these for my some of my camping videos. Hopefully coming up here in the spring and summer. Maybe we'll make pancakes again some Alaskan birch syrup so those look pretty good though so thank you Cole for those all the way from Alaska all right so the next box is from Debbie there's actually two Debbies today that sent me stuff and uh, so two boxes I believe well I lost the package to the one thing but I believe I believe this is from Debbie pretty sure if it's not Debbie you can let me know we got our calendar camping calendar Gotta get it up because it's already February. But then here's the box. The potato sticks, which is already empty. Oh, this box came in like a month ago already, so those potato sticks are pretty good. So, long gone. <laughs> and she did send me another puzzle. I am working on the other puzzle she sent me. I think. I was, I was on my uh, thumbnail picture for the previous part two of my Christmas videos, or the male Christmas. I'm actually working on that puzzle right now in the back. There's a, I guess you can almost see it back there. I have a puzzle table back there. She sent me another one to work on. Along with some pens for my journaling. So as always, Debbie, thank you. Like I said, if this calendar isn't from you, you can let me know, or the person who can send it to me can let me know. But I'm pretty sure this was from Debbie, too. So I guess I just kind of lost the packaging for it. And I know someone someone might say, you know, how can you lose the packaging? Well, everything's a, in a bit of a disarray in here right now. I've been kind of redecorating and reorganizing everything. Things get moved around and lost. <clears throat> so I got a letter from Jack. So thank you for the gift that was inside there, Jack. And he also sent me this. A little Pennsylvania badge. It's, it's Velcro on the back so I could stick it different places. That is the, I believe that is the state flag for Pennsylvania, what it looks like. That's right, all right. Thanks, Jack. And then we got a card from April and Clayton. 
It's a Christmassy card, holiday card. That's okay, even though it's February now. I should say today is February. What is today? February. It's February something today. <laughs> Yesterday was Groundhog Day, so today is, yeah, today's the third. And in that card, they sent me a cool keychain. The little phrase on there that I use. Not all those who wander are lost. All right. Thank you for that. April and Clayton. Put that down there. And then uh, this next package, I think it's a Rick. He told me he was going to be sending me something. So there was no name on the package, I don't believe. But Rick is kind of his shorter name that he goes by. But he sent me this. So this is a The Mines and Minerals of Chester County, Pennsylvania. It's all kinds of lots of pictures in here with all the different things you can find in Chester County. The different mines and different minerals. So that's pretty cool. I live in Berks County, but Chester County is just over kind of southeast of me. Alright, thank you for that. So this next package was from Mike and Michelle. So thank you for the gift card that was inside. That will definitely get used. Here's a little card they sent me. The horse is in the front. And Mike had a little request in there for me. I will I will get on that soon enough, Mike. Try to get that to you. Hopefully before this video gets out. But in the little package, we got like a trail mix. That'll get used. Or eaten, I should say. I love my trail mix. So thank you. Yes, yeah, so I just wanted to quick open the trail mix. And it is the ones... The big bag has lots of smaller bags in it, which makes it a lot better for uh, you know throwing in my snack bag, taking with me on the trail, rather than a big whole bag full of trail mix, which is fine too. I'll, I'll have to eat that stuff as I'm driving, but the little bags make it nice to take along while you're hiking. So make it convenient, I guess you could say. All right, then I mentioned there were two Debbies today. So this is the other Debbie. This is Debbie and Dave. And then she made the comment that her husband, whenever I mention mail from the other Debbie, her husband kind of makes comments to her like, oh, you're sending Cliff other mail that I don't know about because there's different Debbies that send me stuff, but he's just, he's just joking with her. So, so thank you for the letter. She talks about some of the changes coming up in her life. Retirement is one of those things. So, wow. This was a heavy box. These. these open. Mini sweet biscuits. Got cinnamon sugar. That might go good with my coffee. Put bag of these. Oh, honey butter. Blueberry. I think that's it. What's this? No, there's one more, one more flavor. Oh, chocolate chip. It's all kinds. I think we'll try... I'm gonna try some of the honey butter ones here with my coffee quick. All right, so here you go. I call them biscuits. That's what they look like. They are like little biscuity things. So this is the, the honey butter one. Mmm. Calls them sweet, but they're not overly sweet, you know. They're just right. Mmm. They'll go great with coffee. And, uh, man. I'll have to try and save a bunch of these for my camping trips. You know, have them with my coffee around the campfire this summer. Except for this packet. And there's some more stuff in this box. One of those garden flags. You can see a, the deer on the front. It looks like elk, actually. That's cool. And there's more. Quite a bit of stuff in this one. Pine nuts. I don't know if I've ever had pine nuts just plain like this. I'm going to try these in a moment. I'm going to show you what else is in here first. Oh, here's a little... Life is better by the campfire. I'm not going to argue against that. Has an interesting feel to it. 
almost feels like a like a whetstone for sharpening the knife. Got some Twizzlers. What's this? Oh, Quaker instant oatmeal chocolate. You know, I can't say they ever had chocolate oatmeal before. We're gonna have to try that this summer too. I tell you what, if you can't, oh, it's my phone. If you can't tell, I am looking forward to camping again. I know someone just asked me recently, when are you gonna, when are you gonna camp again? Because they like those videos, but my answer was when it's not cold. So I'm not a big fan of cold weather camping. I know some people love it. They prefer camping in the cold. Eh, that's not that's not so much me. But hopefully, we'll see. It's been a warm winter, so maybe even by March, we'll see. Maybe we'll do some camping. I got some trips planned, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Right, still more stuff in this box. Oh yeah, she wants me to identify this. I'll do that in a moment. Get the other stuff out here first. Oh, here's cool. Here's like a little prayer patch. You can read that if you want to. I got some chocolate, it looks like. That, I'm not gonna pronounce that name. We got dark hazelnut, and I like the hazelnut. Milk hazelnut, and, and white hazelnut. I do like hazelnut. Like I said, this is hazelnut flavored coffee. It's so cool. Are they just regular, yeah, they took they're just regular bars. Maybe there's some stuff in the middle of them, it looks like. Those are good. Should we save these for camping? I don't know. We'll try, maybe. <laughs> right then, uh, got some journals in here. You guys know I love my journals. There's a C for my name. Big old notebook. This, I oh mean, I can almost use this for teaching, too. Because it has, like, the... Oh, actually it actually has those. Oh, I wonder... These pages have all these little dots on it. There's like, I don't know if you can see it on the camera. It reminds me of that game you can play. Oh, what do we call it? The dot game where you, anyway, on long road trips, you know, you, anyway, you, you connect two dots. Anyway, some of you might know what I'm talking about. I'll, just quit, I'll quit trying to explain it. Oh, here we go. Book on abandoned Pennsylvania. I do not have this one. I don't recognize the author either, Jen Brown. Another notebook with the log cabin on the front. A journal type thing. And a couple of magazines. And one more. One more notebook. <laughs> Team Bigfoot. I do use a lot of notebooks for my uh, filming and research here. Like here's two right here. Here's one I you know, all my editing notes, research notes are in these. There's another one here I've been working on. I don't know how many, I have, who knows how many of these I have laying around here. I don't know if you can see there's stacks down there and over here, all different kinds of journals and stuff. All right, so Debbie and Dave, thank you very much. Oh, I gotta try, uh, I gotta find those pine nuts. We'll try those. All right, so I'll try the pine nuts in a moment, but yeah, she asked me to identify this seed pod. It looks like a bean, but this is from a, this is from a honey locust tree. This is the seed pod. That they make kind of rattles yeah pretty cool though all right pine nuts hmm yeah I don't ever remember eating just like regular pine nuts before They're good. They're better than like sunflower seeds. Yeah. They're actually really good. I'm trying to. They kind of remind me of something else, but. Hmm. So, as always, thank you everybody for all the gifts. Not sure if these will survive the night. I'm gonna finish my biscuits too. But thank you for all the gifts. 
as always, they are, are greatly appreciated. Um, like I said, yeah, it is still winter time here tonight. It's actually a pretty, pretty mild winter, but every, every once in a while it gets really cold, like tonight, today. Today and tomorrow are really cold. Today was kind of miserable, just even going to the... I went to Walmart today to get another floor lamp. That's why it's brighter back that way. It's just cold walking through the parking lot. But yeah, I have been talking about other new channel series that are coming up. If some previous videos I did mention, we are going to, at some point, we're going to pick up hiking the Appalachian Trail in Maryland at some point. Because um, I like to have a several trail series going at once. Still working on a horseshoe trail. We did finish up the Blue Marsh Trail a couple weeks ago. And I think I mentioned we're going to start the Standing Stone Trail at some point here. About 85 mile trail. 85 mile trail. It covers some really interesting ground. I think it starts in Cowan's Gap State Park, kind of south central PA. I think it actually, does it go up to 500 steps in Mountain Union? I think it does that too, but yeah. We talked about uh, restarting that edible and medicinal plants in Pennsylvania series. I know it kind of started that a couple of years ago. I kind of let it go, but now that I'm more organized and doing playlists and stuff, I think like, so I'll start that series up again, try to keep it going this time. Um, and then the Mountain Lions in Pennsylvania series, which looking forward to doing that one. I just want to get to, I have one trail cam that someone sent me years ago, but I think I want to get at least one or two more, get, head to Cabela's. So that way if I set up trail cams, you know, I have not just one, a couple to set out. And then, uh, some other series, a whole bunch of stuff I want us to do this summer. Of course, we're still working on other series. Still got the French and Indian War series going on, but I'm hoping to wrap that one up this year. <laughs> got to make a couple trips out Pittsburgh area. Um, want to do all the French forts that are in Western PA. Of course, right after the French and Indian War was Pontiac's War. Um, I'll probably tag that right along with the French and Indian War because that includes the Battle of Bushy Run out in the Pittsburgh area again. And then at some point, maybe we'll see. I started this summer is starting the Revolutionary War in Pennsylvania, so I'm kind of excited about that one. There's tons of stuff in Pennsylvania to do concerning the Revolutionary War. And then I'll probably start another canal series. We're still working on the Union Canal, and I'll probably be working on that for quite some time yet. I'll soon be done with the Branch Canal that headed, headed north up towards Pine Grove, and we'll, we'll get back on the Main Line Canal, start heading west. I'll just start working on getting permissions again from property owners, start doing that business again. But yeah, we, you know, we're well past halfway with that series. But, you know, just like I have more than one, usually I have more than one hiking series going on at a time, why not, why not have more than one canal series? I'm thinking about doing the Delaware Canal next. It's a lot different than the Union Canal. Almost all of it is public land, so I won't have to ask permission. And I'll probably be able to bike 90 plus percent of it. That's why I got that bike. I haven't really used the bike a whole lot, because I, but I do have plans for it. So that'll be, it'll be a, a canal series, but it'll have a different feel to it, I guess you could say, than the, than the Union Canal. Most of the Union Canal is abandoned. You know, we're busting through thorns and brush and stuff just to get to, to see parts of it, but the Delaware Canal will be a, a lot different, so plan on doing that one. And along with that, I'll probably do some other biking adventures, just like I'm doing some hiking trails. We'll probably do some biking trails, like some rails to trails and things like that as well. So yeah, there, there's no limit to stuff to fill. Oh yeah, there's that that uh, historic small town Pennsylvania series I want to start up too. I just remembered that. I actually had my first town picked out. Probably gonna do Stouchburg, Pennsylvania, not too far from here. Yeah, there's all kinds of stuff I want to do. But anyway, as always folks, thanks for watching. Once again, thank you for the gifts and uh, hopefully we'll see you on the next one.